quite possibly one of the most scary things I've ever done in ham radio. Howdy everybody, this is Steve, KM9G. This little thing hanging down in front here is an old timer's trick on how to clean off the relays in your low pass filter. I don't recommend you do this because I was already on my toes doing it myself. But I wanted to share with you how some of the things were done back in the 80s when this Kenwood TS430 was brand new. Let's get over to the bench and I'll show you how it's done. For this trick here, you're gonna need a fancy resistor. This is a 20 ohm resistor and it is capable of dissipating three watts of RF energy, three watts of any energy, really. Let's get it all wired in. I don't know about this one. So here's the test setup. We have our Kenwood power supply. This is our positive lead, comes down here and up through this three watt, 20 ohm resistor, which then goes down and is fed into the antenna port, the coax port on the back of the radio. The ground connection from the power supply comes through and connects to the ground connection on the radio. And then the radio itself is powered by the normal radio power cable that goes into its power supply jack on the back. So you can do all of this with the power supply and the radio all connected to the same power supply, no problems. All right, so let's do a couple of things for setup first. We wanna take the one megahertz step button and make sure that that is pushed in. We wanna have our finger over the, the button here to change bands, pick one, it doesn't matter which one, you just wanna cycle through. And we wanna turn the radio on with that power lead connected to the antenna port. And then just start poking your way through and what we're doing, we're gonna do this for about two minutes. I'm not gonna make you watch all two minutes of this. What we're doing is we're putting about 500 milliamps worth of current into the antenna port in the back of the radio, which is cleaning all the oxidiz oxidization off of the relays in the low pass filter in the back of this radio. And what that's gonna do for us is get rid of all of the dust and dirt and grime. And if this radio was ever in a smoker's environment or something along those lines, it's gonna take care of all of that stuff. And that was one minute worth of button pushing. So now we got another whole minute to go through. All right, turn her off, there we go. Okay, so maybe this wasn't done when the radio was brand new, but after it had been sitting for a while, unloved, unused, or just not used on those particular bands, or people smoked a lot around the radio or those kind of things. This radio doesn't have any evidence of being heavily smoked around, but this resistor on the other hand, it was getting smoked pretty hard. It got very, very hot. It got so hot that if I touched it, it would have burnt me. I did touch it, it did burn me. I'm, I'm that kind of experimenter, yep. So again, I don't recommend you guys do this with your radio, but this is a thing that happened back in the 80s with uh, these kind of radios. And I'm happy to share it all with you. And there is a video right here next to this resistor I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.